वेलकम वंस अगेन टू द एन पी टी एल कोर्स स्कैनिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वैल्यू एडिशन ऑफ सी फूड्स इन टूडे सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेशन प्रोसीजर्स फॉर सी फूड स्कैनिंग एंड अंडर दिस विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट नेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स बिफोर वी गो इन टू द फर्दर डिटेल्स Uh, let me brief about what we had discussed in the previous sessions. So, in the previous sessions, we had discussed about different canning processes. We had seen it in detail, step by step, and uh, each step was discussed in detail. We had also seen the canning process how it differs from item to item, that is, product wise. And then we also discussed about the pre-processing machineries and tools that are generally used in the seafood industry. for processing the seafoods and we ended up with additives different types of additives the definition for additives and importance of additives in seafood industry and uh, what are the different additives that are used in canning industry so coming to today's session sop uh, that is standard operation procedures so when it comes to seafood processing just like any other food industry seafood uh, processing sector also has processing rules and manufacturing rules or standards which has to be followed stringently there should not be any compromise with this rules or regulations or the protocols which are set in the industry because these are directly involved in the food safety generally we follow the hazap rule that is hazard analysis critical control point and this principle it was developed after 1990s or it came into uh, practice in 1990 and uh, it, it has been very effective in maintaining the food quality in the industries and it has been directed by all the industries that there should be a food safety plan and it should be practiced religiously and time to time developments and uh, changes that need to be implemented that has has to be approved by the authorities and it has to be adopted as and when required now in the industry we find gmp that is good manufacturing practices we also find sanitary standard operating procedures that is ssops and uh, we have hazap principles and apart from these three the other principles or other regulations that envisions the food safety these are also included in under this category so anything that will support food safety the quality of food will be improved or it will ensure uh, food safety those will also be included and adopted by the industry now coming to gmp good manufacturing practices these are the practices or procedures that are conducted by food processors to ensure safety of food for human consumption so most of the food products they are mainly aimed for human consumption these even for the animal consumption which are meant for as animal feed or uh, as pet foods they also have to follow gmps now and uh, but uh, most of the food products which are meant for human they should be safe they should not cause any hazard or any disease conditions in the human being so the quality should be maintained from the beginning from the initial point that is from the industry where it is processed and it should be ensured that it is safe for consumption and when we talk about the safety it should be from the perspective of personal that is from the human resources that are working or that are involved in the industry then we have to take it from the perspective of equipments then processes or operations and the environment in which the production is done so all the aspects which are relevant it might be directly involved or indirectly involved in the production of food so those everything has to be taken into account and gmps these are not plan or process specific we have to be very careful it is an uh, underlying statement it is not specific uh, to a plan or a, a process it is uh, something which is adopted by the industry and it doesn't change with process to process or it doesn't change with plan to plan it is mandatory that all the companies they have to adopt this stringently and gmp it falls under the jurisdiction of food and drug administration now gmps they have been listed in code of federal regulations that is cfr 221 in part 110 and under this we have uh, certain categories have been given so first imp most important category is personal because these it is the human resource that comes 
or they are involved in the food production. So according to GMP regulation, plant management in the industries, they should take reasonable measures and precautions to ensure certain factors. First one is disease control. So the human resource, they should not transfer any disease to the food or it should not be contaminated. So if there is a sick person in the industry or in the plant, he should be immediately allotted to another job and he should not come in direct contact with the food. Similarly, if they have open wounds or boils or sores, these they, such kind of people, like they should be not allowed to interact with the food processing line or food contact surfaces or even food packaging sec section. So they should be immediately allowed, either they should be allowed to take sick leave or they should be kept in another section where they don't come in contact with the food contact surfaces or food pack. This is just to ensure that they don't transfer any disease from them to the food or the food is not contaminated. So that is the first rule under GMP and every management they have to ensure that this is being monitored and maintained. And second one is cleanliness. So exercising proper hygiene practice while processing that is very important. So once people enter into the company, uh, even the management, they have to make sure that people are following the hygiene practices that has been designed and laid in the company. So and this is with the aim to protect the food from contamination. And these includes many things like wearing ap aprons. So whenever the person is working, they immediately change to uniform. Uh, the workers are not allowed to work in the same dress. They have to change the uniforms and also they have to wear aprons and they have to maintain their cleanliness personal cleanliness so whenever they go to restrooms or to toilets they have to wash their hands and even sanitize it if it is required and also any jewelries people who are working in in the food lines they cannot wear jewelries they cannot grow their nails even nail polishes are not allowed. So such things, jewelries and other things, these have to be removed and they have to be kept in a secured place. They have to wear glasses and these gloves should be impermeable and there's a uh, tear or there's a hole in the gloves then immediately it has to be replaced. So there should not be any direct contact with the hand. If it is not necessary then it has to be avoided. And similarly hair is another hazard which may come into the food if it is not tied properly. So uh, hair caps are used, bands are used and uh, we also use hair nets and then in case of male people who are working or the men who are working in the food lines, they have to cover their beards. Generally beards are not allowed, they have to cut the beards but for religious reasons if they cannot cut then uh, in such cases they use beard covers to cover the, beer, the beards. And then also uh, people, they cannot have food in the processing sector, should not come in contact with the food contact surfaces. So there should be separate sections, separate areas for eating food or they cannot bring food from outside into the processing sections. So the separate canteens or eating sections should be or rest, restrooms sh um, should be provided. It should not be brought to packaging sections. And again, people should not chew. Uh, gums or tobacco while they are working in the company even they should not talk when they, they are doing the processing so such kind of precautions need to be taken so these are all these everything it comes under the cleanliness section and these need to be controlled or managed they should be a supervisor to see that these are being uh, adopted and maintained or managed properly even the medications and cosmetics they are also not allowed inside the processing section. So there are separate sections where you can keep your things, your belongings and uh, you can, if you need to take medicine or anything, you have to come to that uh, restroom and take the med medication. So it should not enter into the processing lines. Uh, and then uh, education and training, that is another aspect, again very important aspect. People, they should be made aware of. It is not only the awareness, they should be trained. They should know what is the importance of maintaining this cleanliness, uh, what is the importance of GMP, why it is so important and why management is taking precautions and care to maintain these things. So uh, regularly trainings need to be provided, they should be upgraded, they should know what is the importance and why we have to pro maintain hygiene and other practices need to be adopted to maintain the safe food. So these intermittent or uh, irregular uh, trainings and educational programs need to be 
given on cleanliness and safety of food. There should be people who must see that the, all the regulations or rules that are being followed, they are in compliance with the GMP requirements. So the uh, supervisor, again, it, he is very important in maintaining all these things. Then again, second point, after the personnel and GMP, we come to equipments. Equipments, uh, a lot of equipments are being used in the industry for processing. Also, we use different utensils. So these utensils, they should be food friendly. They should not get corroded or they should be easy to clean. They should not have any dents or any marks where the microbes can thrive. So such should be very smooth and then it should be easy to clean and sanitize and further it should not react with the, with the contents or the components of food and also the material. So it should not or the sanitizing material which, are, which we are using to clean or sanitize, these should not react with the equipment or utensils. So it should be non-corrosive. And also the equipments, they should be installed in places where they are easy to clean, where there's uh, water access is there and the space is also there so such kind of things also sh should be taken care of and it should not adulterate the food nothing should go from the equipment or the utensil into the food so no metal fragments no lubricants fuel or contaminated water it should enter into so equipment should not be a point of contamination it should be new very clean it should not pass any microorganism to the food Again, if any joints are there, any seams are there, it should be smoothly bonded. There should not be any uh, crevices or, or dents which will harbor the microorganisms or the contaminated water and which will in later stage will cause contamination. Such things should not be there. If anything is there, it should be on a smooth end and uh, it should have a smooth surface. Then also non-food contact equipments, holdings, uh, conveying and manufacturing systems, they should also be maintained under proper sanitary conditions. And food freezers, cold storage, they should be equipped with thermometers, monitoring devices and alarm systems. Again, these all come under GMPs. Though we say that freezer is working properly, the temperature is coming down to minus 40, but we have to make sure that it is working properly. For that, we have to use thermometers and we have to check it regularly. We can use a digital thermometer or the glass thermometer which we regularly use or we can also have alarm devices which will give alarms immediately as soon as the temperature changes so we'll get the alarm and we can rectify it so that can also be so similarly anything we say that is working properly it has to be uh, there should be quantitative data to support it also and uh, compressed air and other gases which are introduced in the food or used to sanitize the food contact surfaces, they should not cause any contamination to the food products. They should be separate places to store all these things. And then uh, next is processing operations. So what is we, what we do on during the processing? So these things need to be uh, taken care of, and it it starts from right from the receiving end, then segregating or sorting, then pre-processing, then packaging, then inspecting, storing, transport, so everything right from the point of receiving till it reaches to the consumer, that is from farm to the folk, everything need to be monitored. It should be under sanitary conditions and it should ensure that the product will not be contaminated and it will be safe for human consumption. At any point, anything is going wrong, uh, immediately the actions need to be taken and it should be monitored and rectified as, as soon as possible. Then during these procedures we have to emphasize on chemical parameters, microbiological that is any microbial organisms and physical testing procedures. So all the uh, different all different types of hazards or all dis uh, different types of testing methods they need to be adopted and they need to be followed uh, to ensure that food contamination is prevented. Then prevent contaminations by identifying and addressing sanitation fa failures. If anything goes wrong, any, any failure has happened, these need to be identified and where it has happened, how it has happened and how it, we can address these things, how we can rectify it, the actions need to be taken immediately. And it has to be seen that it is followed regularly. Uh, if, even after addressing it, if it is being repeated again and again, then what is the necessary action? That is, what is the corrective action that has to be taken? We have to go into those details and we have to change those things. And adulterated food, it needs to be rejected. 
immediately it should the people who are supplying it they should be informed it is treatable or it, it can be removed then immediately those actions need to be taken then these were the points which are directly related to uh, the food but then we have environment which are not directly related to the uh, food under this we concentrate upon the places or the grounds which are around the plant so inside the plant and outside the plant it should be the environment should be safe it should not contain any dumps garbage or any waste material waste material should not be dumped here there should be proper draining system water should not get coagulated waste water treatment should be there even rain water they should not get coagulated and so whenever the vehicle is coming from the outside there will be a dip that will help in washing the tires so that the dirt and other materials which are coming along with the trucks they should not enter into the premises of the plant those necessary actions need to be taken and all these are intended with the idea of uh, removing the pests because waste they attract pests rodents and these may uh, pose as a threat for food contamination so again environment safety maintaining the proper environment is important for the safe food so necessary actions may be taken again the plant premises are they are all tile we don't have the mud or anything it, it is not easy to clean the mud so it is generally tiled or cemented and there should be spaces enough spaces for keeping the chemicals the sanitizing chemicals or spaces for keeping raw materials cold storage and also for storing the packaging material for sto uh, spaces to store the finished products so it should have all the spaces in ample amount there should not be any restrictions in the spaces so enough uh, sufficient space should be provided for all the equipments and other materials again we have light bulbs we are using bulbs and uh, lights in, uh, inside the plants it should be uh, well protected and uh, it should not break and fall over the food so such things also need to be taken into consideration and there should be lighting and ventilation the people they should cannot work uh, if it is dark uh, they cannot see anything any uh, contaminant is there they cannot see it so proper lighting is also necessary but when we provide lighting we should see that it is not directly over the table and even even if it is directly over the table then it should be protected by the the nets or fixtures so that it doesn't fall over the food so these points are uh, they are again in gmps when we consider from the point of environment so uh, we had uh, discussed about the good manufacturing practices this good manufacturing practices they have to be dealt from every aspect of the industry from the processing sector from the people who are involved in processing from the machinery from the equipments from the uh, sanitizing or the chemicals that are being used in the industry so whatever gmps we are adopting they should ensure that food is safe it is safe for consumption it is not contaminated and uh, people they will not be at any kind of risk and uh, with this we'll wind up for today and we'll be meeting in the next session thank you